Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Rajas of India. I'm Ostrilla, and we are Samrat Gopala the Just of the Pala Empire. And, oh yes, that's right. So in the last episode, I invited a whole bunch of people, because uh, we've got to get the vassals that hate us to like us. Just because, um, very shortly, maybe, I don't know, 10 years of carousing? How old are we? We are 42. We're 42 years old, I think 10 years of carousing, and then we should be able to, um, ooh, my court physician has died. Better get a new one. Um, there's no diseases at the moment, but I think it's always a good idea to have a court physician on hand. Excellent. Um, oh, do I have a guru? I must have already recruited a guru at some point earlier in my life. That's fine. Uh, so, yeah, the plan is we're going to improve the relations of the bottom people. So then I can re retract this one. Maharaja Lopandada, my cousin. Um, if I revoke title from him, um, everybody's going to hate me by minus 30. Or, I mean, if I retract from this one, maybe this one. If I retract from him, because he's an infidel, uh, the new thing is that it will affect people of his religion. Uh, which is different to how it used to be, where you could just take it if he was an infidel. But now this is still going to piss off Hindus, and I still have a lot of Hindus, so... Um, I want to improve the relations with all the Hindus. In fact, I'm pretty sure almost everybody is a Hindu. Oh! We've got an adventurer. Fantastic. I love to get a little bit of money. How much money do you have? What? Where's all your money? Maybe you haven't raised it yet. Very well. Um, oh, we're getting a woman healer. Basically a witch. We're getting a witch. Cool. She can ride her broom in. Um, ooh, we've got a grandson. He is not genius. Well, I am bitterly disappointed, but we need to follow the uh, Pala name. So how about Haran Pala? Oops. Haran Pala. Um, we've inherited a new Raj, so let's just hand it out again. Let's see. So 28. Yeah, you look good. You can be my vice regent here. Good for you. Viceroy. These aren't the droids we're looking for. I wish people would stop sending me marriage requests. I'm not going to marry off my kids. <laughs> um, actually, it might be a good idea to marry it off to... some vassals. Um, if we are going to piss off a whole bunch of people... Let's um, let's see if we can get some non-aggression packs going with the people who hate us the most. Um, let's see, arrange marriage between I don't know you and nope. All right, looks like you have nobody. That's fine. Let's go to the next hated person on the list. This one. Um. Arrange marriage. The son and... No. Must be the same person. I swear it's a different person. Arrange marriage. Um, my son and... No non-aggression packs. You just have old ladies in your court. For some reason. Very well, let's move down the list. Um, how about the Viceroy of Multan? Why do you hate me, by the way? Desires a, th a Thikana and desires a kingdom. Hmm. I may be able to fix that at some point, but I don't really feel like fixing it right now. Um, let's see. Nope, no non-aggression packed people. Let me just double check. No, nothing. Alright, fair enough. 
You. Oh, we get a non-aggression pack. I could marry my son off to... Oh, that won't last very long. Hmm. Let's do it. And uh, we'll just see how long it lasts. Political concerns. Yes. Yes, obviously, because you don't want a known aggression pact. You'd very much like to rise up against me because you're an idiot. But you're going to marry, marry anyway. So, um, let's see. How about him? Um, arrange marriage. How about this son? And 61. Why do you not have daughters? All right, let's marry you off to her. I don't care. Alright, so that's two known aggression packs. Maybe we should look at who's actually joined the faction. Yeah, it was you and... Was it you or you? I can't remember. Let's see. Mm, 38. Probably you. Grand Fire's Royalty. There you go. Now you love me. Love, love, love. Oh, fantastic. Well, I mean, you're probably not going to last very long. You're age 79. Maybe I should have taken that into account before I invited you. You're my best friend. And then like two days later. Damn it. I lost kind. Good thing I've already educated my son and heir and he's already kind. So I just won't educate any more children from now on. Well, carousing's over. We can do carousing again on the 14th of May... 14th of May this year. Let's see. Very grateful. Yeah, I'll help you. I'll help you with the stabby stabbies. Now let's just jump a ticket. Recent carousing scon. I thought it's once every year. That wasn't a whole year. We only just had it. Alright, well, um, I guess I can... I can do another round of carousing. Um, invite to carousing. I already have a non-aggression pact with you, so it doesn't matter. And with you... Invite to carousing. Hmm. Going down this list, can't seem to see anyone else to invite to carousing. We've, they've got the recent carousing. Hey, smoke break, how you going? Back to his carousing. And what else? You. And. Invite you. Invite you. This is going to be a great orgy. Bit of a sausage fest, so. Um, okay, so I think. I don't really need friends who are above 43 in terms of opinion. So let's just do that. Um, one of my sons, one of my genius, my backup genius, needs educating. Um, I think... I'm going to make you a grey eminence as well, just in case. Just in case my son, my preferred son dies. So, how about... 
Mm. Yeah, my heir can do it. He has good traits, and it's only for a year. Oh, so some people don't want to come to carousing. So there's only like five people coming. Like, I think it was like six people. Oh well, one one out of six chance that one of the people that I need to like me will like me. Um, when was this? Fifteen eight, December next year. That's fine. Gray eminence. Oh, perfect. All right, so backup sun is pretty good aside from arbitrary, but you can always get rid of arbitrary by um by you know getting just. So, by, you know, doing stewardship or something. Let's arrange marriage. I'm surprised I didn't organize a genius for you to marry. Nope. Alright, how about a betrothal to a genius? Nope. You are Dharmapala. Women who are not married. Um, you have to be of the right caste. And... A genius. 13 year old, my daughter? Oh, can't really. Wrong religion to be doing that. Um, eight years old? Oh, my other daughter. I have two daughters that are geniuses. Seriously, when it, when it rains, it pours. I have three daughters who are geniuses. Alright, maybe this one. How old are you? 16? 3 years old? You are a backup child. I think it should be alright. Let's um, arrange betrothal between you and Dhammapala. Rajapala? Nope. Uh, Gopala? Nope. Oh, wait, no, Gopala can't be a backup, because he's only charismatic. I have three... I have, like, two backups, as well as my genius son. How many genius children did I have this time? This is actually amazing. I don't think I've ever had as many geniuses in my life. I love this. Because I'm marrying another Pala. 606 prestige from marrying into Pala. It doesn't matter that they're just a count. That's minus 200. So it's still uh, 406 prestige just from marrying into my own dynasty. Because my dynasty is awesome. Look at that. My god. My god, you're greasy. Um, so, yeah, how many, how many children did I have that were genius? You got, not you. Not you. Not you. So the first three sons were not. And then we had one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Yeah, six. I had six children out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sixty percent of my children were geniuses. That is amazing. I have never ever seen that before. Like ever. I bet from now on I'm never gonna get a genius for the rest of the campaign. Not a single one. Ooh, play for money or play for honor? Um, I'm not a greedy kind of person. I am very proud. I'm going to play for honor. Um, I made a fatal mistake and I lost the game. Damn it. Reveling is over. Oh, I didn't make any new friends. And I can't do tiger hunting. In order to um, make friends, so that's okay. We'll do some more carousing soon. 32, yeah, you. And let's get a new marshal. Ooh, 21 marshal. Holy shit, you are awesome. Um, 
I'm going to leave you as a commander. So then uh, I'm going to have somebody else. Somebody else can be the commander. Uh, it can be the uh, tr troop levy increase guy. That guy's like the most amazing commander I have ever seen. This is what happens when you get a really big empire and you do good education for everybody. Um, where is he? That's so awesome. He's not the um, he's not the one I was just looking at, but look at that. My God, that is just so useful. He's very likely to die in combat, though. Personal combat skill minus four. But where's the good one? Hold on. Uh, we just handed that out to me, yeah. So the good one is. Uh, we've been the twenty-one, right? Yeah, heavy foot troops plus 41%. Morale defense plus 20%. Combat and farmlands another foot. So that's 41 plus 81. I think it's additive. I don't think it's multiplicative. So I'm pretty sure that's plus 81% in farmlands. Or, or in steps or planes. Plus 81% damage for the heavy infantry. What? 41,000 44,000 Okay, didn't we do this before? Like, didn't my grandfather and your grandfather tussle like this? For somebody who's supposed to be very quick, um... You're going up against a genius, buddy. I can outwit you. So... I don't like that you can just march through three people's lands without getting access in this game compared to um, like EU4. I much prefer getting military access. That's something they should have definitely have made um, in the new DLC. In the new patch. So, what? Why can I see your army? Oh, I've got my Chancellor sowing distrust. Okay. So your army's all the way over here. It's gonna suffer a shit ton of attrition getting over here, because first off, this isn't your land, and secondly, look at the supply limit, 4.65, 4 4.65, 6.82, 6.82, 6.45, um, I think we're going to sit over here, so let's see, 18, Fourteen thousand. I'm pretty sure you're going to come through. You're going to come through here. You didn't go up here uh, last time, when my grandfather fought you. So I reckon I can just set all my troops here and just start sieging up this stuff. All right. Very well. Um, let's. Um... I want to have an adventure soon, don't I? Damn it. Very well. Uh, let's raise our armies. I don't have any... Rebels anywhere around, so I think I'm fine to just raise it. Yep, just fine to raise everything. Alright, let's... Oh, I did. <laughs> Never mind. I should have pressed control, but I was lazy. Uh, I want everybody. Have stuff down here as well. Nope. Alright, I want everybody to go 23,000, 28,000, 21. I, I can just tell everybody to go here and then I will split you up as soon as there's 20,000 20, there. Because there'll be two stacks. We have 44,000 troops. Alright, very well. Let's do this. Let's do this war! Plus, my retinue's awesome. 
So there's that as well. We have the same number of troops. We have defensive terrain. He's going to suffer a shit ton of attrition. Ooh. We got... Measles, measles, measles. The world is ravaged by four epidemics. Your realm is... Your own realm is ravaged by one epidemic. Really? Oh. Oh, we got consumption going on. I wonder if consumption affects armies. Like, if they can... If armies can spread it. I'm pretty sure in the old version... Armies could be affected... If you were in a thing where armies could get sick, then they suffer more attrition. But I don't think they could spread it. I hope to find out whether or not you can spread it. Because then I'll run like 10 troops into it and then like run throughout his land. <laughs> like running around like biological warfare. That would be great. Actually, that's probably a little OP, so that's probably why you can't do it. Um, very well. Alright, let's just move you guys forward. Um... I think we've got a good mix of guys in charge. Let's see. Farmland, steps. What's this here? Desert, plains, mountains, mountains, deserts. Do we have any mountain guys? So let's put heavy foot guy. And leading center. Yeah, you work well there. And morale. Let's see. War elephant. Defense. You're pretty good on defense and morale defense. Damage against religious enemies, plus 52%. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So that's a good front liner. Um, did we have any heavy... No, sorry, did we have any good terrain, mountain terrains? No, nobody's used to fighting in mountains, but I'm sure that they'll pick up traits shortly. Oh, you've been treated. My sister's been treated. Is this the one with cancer? Oh no, she's just got the flu. And she's depressed. But the flu back then was pretty bad. Lots of people died from the flu. I mean, well, people still die from the flu, but... Maybe we should marry you. You're still childbearing age. Uh, let's marry... Not my son. Um, how about... Uh, matrilineal marriage to... You. Yeah, why not? Well done. Well done. Okay, so I heard my timer. In the next episode, we are going to be defending against... 40,000. Wow, they've lost a lot of troops already. Just from getting them over here. I don't know where he is. Um, I think I might have to move my spy master over to... Saravan. Just so I can see them coming. Um... So I might do that, in, I'll do that in the next episode. So, um, we're going to be defending against 39,000 troops. We have 44, and we have a much better retinue. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already built up to my retinue cap, haven't I? No, I have not. Ooh. We'll get just, like, maybe one more. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll do that later. So, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next episode. Bye for now.